to welcome the family and the close friends of Clara Looper. So this is Marilyn Hildreth, and Marilyn is the daughter of Clara Looper, and she has been with us uh, for the entire ride from the time we named this building, gosh, two and a half, three years ago, until today when we got to take the family and the friends on the tour of the building, where we have honored and recognized and affirmed the work that Miss Looper uh, did during her lifetime, not just in Oklahoma, but you know, we talk about her having a global influence. And so just really pleased to be able to welcome them in today. Uh, Marilyn, it's all yours. Thank you. It is indeed an honor to my family and my friends and the community for you to honor my mom. <laughs> Who would have thought it? that a person from Hoffman, Oklahoma, in a Fusky County, would be honored like this by the Board of Education in Oklahoma. What a pleasure, and I can remember as a child going down to our old building with mom when she was still teaching. As you know, she taught school for almost 40 years, and there's nothing more important to her than her diamonds. She referred to her students as her diamonds. And what she taught them, we can see in her students today. Because she would teach not only them, but our family. It's okay to fail, but get up and try again. If you fall, fall with your face up and you can get up. She taught us there's nothing more important than, than believing in our faith. And it's nothing that we can't do if we really want to do. Amen. Keep trying, keep going, keep pushing, keep driving. And that's what we tried to do. We, the, when the Legacy, Clarity Legacy Committee came about, we wanted to make sure that her dreams and her aspirations will continue to grow. And as I stand here today, I know that that will happen because of people like you will make it happen. I never would have believed when I was growing up and the things that we went through that would be important to anybody but us. I would ask my mother, where did you get that strength from? because she came from a family where her young brother died because they wouldn't wait on him in the hospital, only because he was black. She came from a family where my grandmother had to move to Nichols Hills to nurse somebody else's kids so her kids could go to college. We're strong people, and I think that's where she got her drive from. And she didn't take it to her grave. She left it within her family to do the same thing. And, and the young people and the old people that she would come in contact with. And I can't say thank you enough. My heart is filled with joy and pride. And I know that when we started the city-ins here, it never would I have believed that when we sat down here in Oklahoma City, that it would motivate young people throughout this country to take a stand and do the same thing and change the course of American history. Thank you. All right. Thank you. She would have said that American history is black history, and black history is white history, and white history is red history. We all live here together, and we cannot 
teach history without teaching about everybody in this country. Because everybody is important. And, and we have a responsibility to teach history the way it was, not the way we want it to be, but the way it was so we can understand from whence we've come and where we're going.